It's been almost 10 years since I was first introduced to Lumion. Some of the best moments in Lumion are when the release trailer hits. I wanted to take a bigger look of the path Lumion has taken us. Hi, I'm Chris from Seawalton Design. So many users have come into Lumion later on as it's gotten popular. I mean, I'd say somewhere between Lumion 6 and Lumion 8, it just exploded. So many new users, several years of these release trailers that have been missed and its little features and additions that have been added that might have just been overlooked. People are coming into this software that has so many features already packed in and then more being constantly put in so I want to take a moment and, and share some of the highlights that I experienced and some of the effects that still remain with me one of my favorites and that I still use today okay so this first one is gonna be a big one water one of the most impressive things that I remember seeing is this Lumion trailer that I saw right after completing a, a Revit project where I was struggling hard to, to get this pool water to look right and not look like glass on the ground or you, I tried to add a butt map and it looked like aluminum foil. It just didn't look good and it was disappointing. And then right after I completed that project, um, something linked me to a video showcasing this software called Lumion and they showed a Revit file coming in and they were adding features. They added the ocean, which I thought was cool. They moved the sun, but the thing that still stays with me that blew me away was there was this pool. It was just a block of opaque color from Revit. And in one click, bam, water, moving, rippling, reflecting. I, it just blew my mind. I knew at that moment right then that whatever I was doing, with Revit and everything else I was playing with was the past. That was old, this was the new thing. I knew it was a big deal and I made a post about it. And it still remains one of the most impressive parts of, of Lumion, having that ability to add water. So, you know, there was a time that we weren't even able to add reflection planes to water surfaces. And when that feature came, oh man, that was a good day. That was a good day. It, it's just incredible. And I still rely so heavily on that water. If there's water in my scene, th this is good. <laughs> because Lumion is going to make that into an incredible shot. With the ripples and the reflection, add a little bit of lighting in there. And it's guaranteed to just always impress. It's a good day when there's water in the scene because of Lumion, forever changed. In a lot of my work, some of these custom homes have lakes near them. So there's some of the most incredible shots I have just popping down there and some uh, several other projects that have water. I'm gonna utilize the heck out of that. This is one of my favorite things about Lumion that impressed me the very most when I saw that and still does today. Okay, so I have to talk about the Lumion 4 release trailer. This is the trailer that blew me away so much that I spent several months rent to buy this software. Pulled the trigger then, it was just a dream before. After I saw the release for four, I said I need to get this. And, and the reason was this, this was the introduction of the 3D grass and a lot of elements like the falling leaves that just made such a difference in the scene. No, we didn't have a static model. Now, the model was alive, it was breathing. The grass moved in the wind. You can add a little wildness slider that just add that little chaos and imperfection of nature and just, bam, your scene looks so much better. I mean, going from 2D texture grass to that was incredible for the time. A huge jump. And, you know, the falling leaves, I'm still a fan of that. I've, I've learned how to use that much better than before you really got to drop the density quite a lot but just a couple leaves blowing in the wind not too much 
really adds a really cool ambiance. It, again, it's, it's life is being breathed into your scene. And that just made all the difference to me. I saw that value and I knew I needed to get that. And so that trailer has always been special and I still utilize those today. Super cool. So that, that one, that one, it's big for me. So in Lumion 5, somewhere around there, I think, Lumion switched their material system to PBR which got me really, really excited. If you followed my channel before, I'm a big fan of materials. And that was a huge step for Lumion to do. Before they had so many sliders that didn't really do a lot and, and metals never looked quite good. They took a system that was the industry standard at the time now and, and it simplified it, made it easier but better. And it also paved the way for future abilities to add things like substance and, and polygon and all these incredible materials that we can bring in and continue to be a differentiator for me and what I use. Be able to take the time to add all these different maps into there and be able to plug them in correctly most of the time has, has been a huge benefit and it makes, it makes a difference in the end. And now in Lumion 12.5, this process is as easy as ever. It was kind of quirky before, but it was possible. And Lumion made a great investment here, which has paid off a lot in their material capabilities. Mass move it is a very Lumion effect. It, it took something that was really tricky to do, a lot of manual labor with with uh, the move tool, advanced move tool to move things. It was, was really quirky. Turn it into basically a conveyor belt that you laid down and just looped. So you could just easily add traffic, moving in the background, crowds of people moving. But when you utilize it right, it's just an incredibly powerful, simple tool that I still utilize today a lot. Um, in fact, this one's pretty special to me because that was my first tutorial on YouTube doing this mass move complicated roundabout and kind of how the steps I use to take that to the next level. Um, they've gradually added more and more features to it to smooth it all out, add corners, and it's, it's as powerful as ever right now. And I use it, I use it just recently here on a parking garage to do a long time lapse and I just love watching it because the time lapse goes so long that the mass move is just looping and it still looks great. There's even someone going up and down the stairs. It's, it's pretty cool. I did that super fast and look what I was able to do. Love having just that movement in the background. It really makes, makes the scene believable, makes it lived in, makes it feel alive. So this one I'm pretty sh excited to share because I don't think it's something that a lot of people know and utilize the same way that I do. Um, in Lumion 7, we were introduced to a couple interesting effects that, that kind of surprised us. And then they also just weathering. I'll make, we can make things look kind of worn down. Easy to just brush it off that way, but it's extremely powerful at really honing in on the detail that you've added to your model. So many times that we take the, take the extra hours to, to model specific details in my modeling software. And when I bring it into Mulumion and hit render, you just, you just don't see it. It just is not able to capture the little details and the little shadows and it just gets lost. Not with weathering. You add just a little bit of weathering to it and it makes all these details pop. It's a standing seed metal roof. You can barely see that and just a little bit of weathering, bam. Or just any sort of surface, you be able to create those kind of almost like baked ambient occlusion. It is a game changer for me and all of my detail and effort that I put in, I'm able to see now. So, so that was a differentiator on this effect. And if you haven't tried it, try it out. The developers will still look at you weird, but I think it's a great effect. Like you're adding dust. I remember when Live Sync was first introduced for Revit, I was doing some demoing for it and I was like, this is pretty cool. And then it came to SketchUp and I didn't realize how much I needed that. I was just working in projects that literally took 20 to 25 minutes to reload and I kept finding little tweaks I needed to make and having to hit reload and it was, it was not a fun time. 
now with live sync you take you just wait a little bit get it live synced up and you are good to go all these changes go in on the fly it's just incredible it's almost like you're modeling inside of lumion definitely a great step in the right direction revolutionary in workflow wise and i even utilized it recently to help do some design sessions for these simple these simple small cabin homes and i was just moving things around throwing stuff in the warehouse and sketch up and all they were seeing is the lumion scene popping up in and in, in adjusting in, in real time it was really cool i'd never done that i'm sure several of you guys have done that but really really powerful tool it was a good day a good day when that was introduced and i don't want to go back <laughs> So I have to mention Lumion 8, which I think was the biggest release Lumion had ever done. There's just so many features that came out then that, that still remain extremely powerful. There's several that get, have gotten lost in the cracks. Lumion 8, I look back and I can't believe that all of that came out in one year. So many just little things that came together and you know, Skylight, Skylight needs no introduction. It took Lumion to the next level in, in lighting and in visual fidelity and I think got the interest of so many more serious renderers because of the quality we're able to get and it turned Lumion into like a couple click renderer you just bring in your model hit the realistic button all these effects are already stacked up and ready to go in there and you have an incredible looking model and we've all done it I know it, it is a specific look but you know we've all done it it made it easy and that visual fidelity was so accessible and I, I still use it. So and I still use so many of these features that came out with Lumion 8. Huge release. So as big as a moment as Lumion 8 was, something was definitely lacking that was getting me a little worried. Lumion had always been a real-time editor. Sure, you had to hit a button to, to render but to edit you edit it all in real time so you knew what you were going to get at the end and Lumion lost that for a time when it when it introduced skylight and hyperlight and you couldn't see it until you hit render and I, I I did not like that I really didn't and I even I told Lumion about that I, I was really disappointed in that but sure enough they came through in the end I think it was just technically really hard for them it was a big day for me when they added the ability to preview Skylight in the viewport and Hyperlight eventually. And then Lumion listened. Now I never, never hit the render button and get surprised. Like I, I see it, it is 95% accurate and it works quick enough. And now it is still a fully real time editing software that you tweak and then you hit render and forget it. That's that's what I love. Seems little, but it was a big deal to me. It was a core and soul of Lumion and why I loved it. it was intact. So that's that was a big highlight for me. And I mean I use it every all the time. I use the heck out of Skylight now, I don't have to worry about it. Well I'd like to thank you for letting me share these experiences and some of the highlights that Lumion has offered me and, and following them for so long, the impacts it left on me. I'd love to hear how it might have impacted and, and, and left some of those moments with you when you first saw Lumion or what feature that you saw that just, just blew you away. So many of those you would see with Lumion. Lumion 12.5 is a culmination of years and years of polishing. Lumion certainly still has its quirks it still has things to work out it still has things to live up to in this industry it's so competitive now but man it has come a long way it used to have a lot more quirks i'm excited for what's coming ahead because i think it's i think it's some really promising times and uh lumion at its core they're still lumion so more of those experiences are to come look forward to it with that thanks for watching Thanks for letting me share these moments with you and uh, I look forward to more tutorials and videos coming. Until next time, bye.